Hi, welcome to another episode of Medicine Simplified. Today we will know about Tabis dorsalis, which is related to neurosyphilis disease. It is also known as locomotor ataxia. It is a slow, progressive, and degenerative disease of dorsal columns and dorsal roots of spinal cord. It is a late consequence of neurosyphilis. It is caused by central nervous system infection with treponema palladium. We all know that treponema palladium causes syphilis. Coming to the signs and symptoms of Tabis dorsalis, signs and symptoms may not appear for decades after initial infection. Patients suffer from paresthesia. Paresthesia is shooting and burning type of pain with pricking sensation. There will be progressive degeneration of joints and loss of coordination. There will be involuntary urination that is uncontrolled leakage of urine. Impaired response to light. This condition is also known as Argyle Robertson. Coming to the pathophysiology. Pathogenesis involves an inflammatory response against treponema. It is characterized by perivascular infiltrates of lymphocytes, histiocytes, plasma cells, macrophages, and T helper cells. Cytokines released from these inflammatory cells causes additional cellular damage, leading to neuronal degradation. Direct treponemal invasion of large myelinated nerves may also lead to degeneration. The net result of these processes is neurodegeneration with demyelination of sensory nerve fibers in dorsal roots and dorsal columns of spinal cord. Coming to the diagnosis, it is divided into two parts. First one is patients with unknown syphilis history. They required treponema antibody test to confirm treponema antibodies. Another one is CSF VDRL, which stands for Cerebrospinal Fluid Venereal Disease Research Test. It will confirm neurosyphilis. Second part is patient with known syphilis history. They required CSF VDRL test to confirm neurosyphilis and MRI imaging to know extent of damage. There is another test known as Romberg test, which should be coming to the treatment. Penicillin is preferred treatment for all states of neurosyphilis. Patients who are allergic to penicillin, cefotriazone is advised. Additional treatments are symptomatic, like NSAIDs. Post treatment surveillance. Patients should undergo neurological examination and CSF VDRL test for every 6 months until CSF white blood cell count is normal and CSF VDRL is non-reactive. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you.